Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Yong Le, and we also have Dennis, Asamu, Owusu, Marine Kapua, and uh, Gogao in this team. And uh, here we are presenting our paper, Facilitating Global Team Meetings Between Language-Based Subgroups, When and How Can Machine Translation Help? So global teams often refer to subgroups of people who are located in different regions, and we usually see global teams in cross-nation companies and research institutes. They work together to solve shared tasks. One unique aspect about global teams is that those subgroups often speak different native languages in their local office. So our current research focuses on this representative scenario where two subgroups of the people team up to perform tasks together. People in global teams often go through repetitive steps to conduct teamwork. Subgroups have regular meetings with their local colleagues in native language at the first place. Then people schedule remote meetings with the other subgroup and use English uh, for their communication. Then subgroups carry over those decisions they made together in remote big team meetings and switch to local teamwork. So previous research has shown that those remote team meetings often turn out to be very challenging. Much of the work-related information in local team meetings may not be accessible to the other team because of the language barriers, and it may bring low-quality discussion and social tensions at the team level. Along this line, there are several points we learned from previous interview and ethnographic studies. For example, members in successful distributed teams frequently exchange local discussion threads among each other prior to big team meetings. People use these exchanges to catch up with ideas from the other subgroups so that they can make the best usage of the big team meetings. But in global teams, such practice was hindered by the language barriers. Translation can be helpful, but it requires a lot of human effort and financial resources. So in our current study, we are thinking if, the, if there could be a way to enable the exchanges of subgroups conversations at a lower cost. And we are inspired by people use machine translation tool to assist their cross-lingual communication. And we wonder, can we utilize translation technology to restore a shared context across languages? To follow up on this idea, we proposed a study that tests the effects of inserting an extra step between subgroup meetings and big team meetings. That is, using machine translation to allow subgroups access the conversation of the other group prior to big team meetings. And our core research question here is, will this machine translation mediated exchange of subgroup conversation logs affect the teamwork? And if yes, how? So we conduct a controlled experiment to investigate our RQ. Since we want to mimic the real world scenario we mentioned earlier, we invited participants in teams of four uh, to perform a group decision-making task remotely. Each four-member team consists of two native speakers of English and two non-native speakers. The task of communication happened in two steps through instant messaging tools. Participants first had subgroup conversations in their native language. Then the two subgroups proceeded to team meetings using English as a common language. And we manipulated the exchanges of the subgroup conversations prior to team meetings. In the experiment condition, we allowed the native speaking subgroup to review machine translated conversation transcripts from the other subgroup, subgroup. In the baseline, participants do not go through this step. And we recruited 80 participants through online posters and email list from one university based in the US and for non-native speaking uh, speakers to better reflect their population in global teams. We only recruited people who have stayed in the US for less than two years and received their major education in China. And for the task materials, we adopted a personnel selection task, which is commonly used in organizational research. Participants are, were asked to review candidates' CV and decide the most qualified one for the RA position. We made two decisions to mimic the common situation in global teams. The first one, there are multiple items on each CV, and they were unique equally distributed to participants. That is, each subgroup holds different information at the beginning of the task. This creates a situation where subgroups have complementary but unshared resources to discuss in the team meeting. And uh, please feel free to check our paper for full details of the task design and our later coding scheme design. And we are also willing to share the task materials to be used in other uh, people's work per request. The second decision we made is each CV item can either be judged qualified or unqualified based on the given criteria. So this design increases the uh, task complexity and it considers the real world scenario that people often have limited time to discuss and process information in details. And we uh, build our own instant messaging tools and the uh, task platform. And one note here is we did not use 
uh, conversion tools such as Google Translate, and we use our in-house system so that it allows us to improve the algorithm design in the future based on our findings from this study. And we measure the teamwork experience through their perceived communication quality, task workload, and, uh, and the final de uh, decision as the, uh, the task performance. And, we, and earlier, we mentioned that in global team meetings, uh, the exchanged information may include details or high-level conclusions. To access their shared contextual information, we collected the log data of their final team meetings and take a closer examination of their conversational moves. First, we adopted Clark's classical framework that positioned all conversational moves into broad categories, which are content-related moves that attempts to carry out the actual task and coordination-related moves that are meaning for the communication of the task. We went through a few iterations between the framework and the, our actual data and generated a list of codes. And here we share some examples categories on the right-hand side. And for, for instance, we have general pointers that specifies the amount or type of information that is show on the candidate CD, but not mention the detailed content. And we also have the direct evidence that describes the detailed information. And uh, also the inference uh, categories describes the overall qualifications or conclusions where participants inferred from the CV. On the other hand, we also have the coordination related moves uh, which cover uh, people's acknowledgement or prompts that guides the team to move forward in the task. And in terms of the analysis, we conducted a novel analysis on measures of um, task uh, experience and performance. First, we found that regardless of the native language, participants in the experiment condition have better communication experience and task performance. And about uh, the conversational analysis, we calculate the number of coded conversational moves. First, we found that groups with machine translated mediated exchanges um, produced more general pointers. It suggests that empty uh, mediated exchanges can help set up the team's shared metacognition of who knows what, and then discuss their task information more effectively. On the other hand, we uncovered an increased use of inferences in uh, machine translation groups which are about a person's interpretation of the CV information. The inferences can be helpful or misleading in team discussions depending on how inferences were shared. So for example, it can be helpful when the inferences is shared with the corresponding direct evidence as a reasoning pair in nearby turns. So we calculate the numbers of reasoning pairs. We found that uh, machine translation groups issued more reasoning pairs, indicating that more inferences were shared with the backed up evidence during the team discussions. And last, a high-level summary of this research. Our experiments uh, echoed the point from previous informative studies. We see that all teams shared information at English team meetings, but they may not establish common ground at the cognitive level. The machine-translated exchanges can contribute to grounding at the team level, so eliciting participants' awareness of possibly unshared thoughts and perspectives. So it brings up the opportunities that Machine translation tools can be used to support global teams, except except actually in an asynchronous and context-focused manner. And last, our study reveals a few uh, characteristics of high-quality team meetings, where people shared more general pointers and the task of information in a more constructive way, and this can bring team members on the team on the same page about the cognitive process required for group tasks. So uh, at last, we'd like to thank our participants and collaborators and also uh, the uh, funding agencies for their support. And, we, uh, and if you are interested in information seeking during the public crisis, we also have another paper from our research group at this uh, year's CSW. So please check them out.